And the most important thing is to, to you always have to place certain vehicles, certain either retirement vehicles, savings vehicles, whatever it is, you have to place them into certain categories. When dealing with CDs, you have to understand that this is something that, that we like to construct called the world of the known. The different creatures that live in it, and this is for the safety, the world of the known, the world of the guaranteed, the world of the safety. You have three different entities that live in this world. You have banks, you have the government, and you have insurance companies. The banks offer savings accounts, they offer CDs, certificates of deposit, they offer money markets. It's things that are going to give you very, very small rates of return, but you have the peace of mind knowing that you have some sort of legal reserve system there. You have the FDIC to back them. The government, treasury bonds, treasury bills. Once again, very, very small rates of return. But you just want to return of your money, not necessarily return on your money. You just want to make sure that it's there because you're so terrified of what the markets can do and how they can really hinder your accounts. And then you have insurance companies, and they offer something called fixed annuities, which is just like a bank CD. Currently, bank CDs are paying 1%. Typically, a fixed annuity with an insurance company pays you about 3%, 2 3%. They're about two to three times uh, higher than a, than, a, than a typical bank CD. And what happens with the insurance companies is they have a legal reserve system backing as well. They have about six tiers of guaranteed, six tiers of safety to make sure that they will never go under or your contracts will still stay, in, uh, stay intact regardless of what happens. So there's kind of a, different, a couple different ways. With the CD alternatives, you could go into those fixed annuities and you get some better rates of return and it does have, you do have the peace of mind that you do have this legal reserve system. Once again, this is the world of the known. I always ask my clients, I state, I say, what is the purpose of having your money in the world of the known? Is it liquidity? Meaning, I just want easy access to it just in case of a oh my gosh moment? Is it retirement income? Because if it's retirement income, that's not the right world to be in. I understand that you do not want to invest your money in the market, and that's exactly what I, what I agree with completely. But the main thing is you want to make sure that you have the safety and you're at least leveraging retirement income, accounts, contractual, um, contractual agreements, contractual guaranteed insurance contracts that leverage maximizing your income as much as possible. So the main purpose of this is when you're in the, the world of the safety, with the CDs, with the savings accounts, with the fixed annuities, with the, um, with the government, the treasury bonds, it's always the smallest rate of return because they understand that as long as the, the, the longer, the, the more risk, obviously the higher the potential for gain. But the less risk, meaning that you're not going to lose your accounts, the smaller they can actually guarantee. There were certain contracts that came out around 2008 that guarantee you that if your purpose is for retirement income, we can go and leverage what you have in bank CDs and we can make sure that that's going to produce you an income stream that you can never outlive. It's not going to be something small like a 4% withdrawal rate. It could be anywhere upward between 5 to 7% of income you could not outlive. If you do not out, if you live too long, the company is on the, on the hook for making sure that that contract is paid out to you. If you die too soon, then the money that you did not take is then left to your beneficiaries. Now, people say, okay, Derek, that, 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 that sounds good, but... I don't want to, I want to have these CDs later. That I, want to, I don't want to have this money instant. I don't want it to be immediate. I want to defer my growth a little bit. And that's exactly what these plans are designed for. They're called income personal pension plans. And what it does is every year that you do not take your money, it's going to gain you about 6 to 8% on your income account. Uh, depending upon your age, obviously, the older, the more favorable it is for you. Now, when you want to start taking those income distributions, you could, depending upon your age, you could take 5 to 7% out. So it's different things. You have that legal reserve system backing. And they're in the form of it's actually con uh, contractually guaranteed. They have it in your contract that you can not outlive your money regardless of what, what happens to the account value. Inheritance. 
number number two purpose might be I want to make sure there's an inheritance there. The best possible way to leverage your money for inheritance purposes is to purchase a life insurance policy. A lot of people say, I, I hate insurance companies, I hate life insurance. I understand that, but I guarantee you hate the IRS 10 times worse. You could place your money into these income accounts, these income personal pension plans. If you had 100,000 and you say, I want to just leave this money there because I want to leave it as an inheritance. You can take the 100,000, turn it into these accounts, turn on the income instantly, take 7% of this money that you can never outlive, you're, you're buying it on your life anyway, that 7% will bring out $7,000 for easy math, and that $7,000 could then purchase a $300,000, obviously depending upon your, your health, your age, all that stuff, can purchase a $300,000 life insurance policy that's guaranteed that when you pass away, that goes to your beneficiaries and goes into it in the form of tax-free. It's not taxable. You're leveraging your $100,000 to place into an income vehicle rather than taking those income payments because you said you don't need it. You want, basically want to leave something, you want to leave inheritance for your family. Those income payments will then go to fund the life insurance. It's a, it's a technique called arbitrage and you're basically leveraging one to pay for the next. Um, once again, this just kind of goes over some different things of seeing the alternatives without losing the safety on accounts. Understand that the main thing, the main reason why people buy CDs is for the safety factor. And if you want to use it for retirement income purposes, there's better alternatives out there with the same sort of safety. Once again, my name is Derek Afasi, and I thank you very much for watching this video.